So in this video, we are going to be talking about risk management. This is an extremely important part of trading. And if you don't understand this, and if you don't get it right, then you will end up losing money. So pay close attention. Risk management basically means that you are risking an appropriate amount of your account's capital per trade. So let's say you have a $1,000 account. An appropriate amount to risk would be maybe $50 per trade. However, an inappropriate amount to risk would be $500 per trade. Because then you're obviously risking too much based on your account size. You need to understand that you will not be able to win every single trade you place. Therefore, you can't start risking too much because if it goes wrong, then your, your account is not able to recover because you've actually used too much of your capital per trade. So you need to be able to take a loss if it happens. Therefore, you need to risk an appropriate amount. Now, obviously these amounts will differ per person because everyone's going to have slightly different account sizes, but I would recommend you risk between one and 5% per trade as standard, okay? But if you have a very small account, let's say you deposited the minimum requirement for the broker, then the broker will often have a minimum trade size as well. So that will often force you to risk slightly more, maybe 10%. So if you deposited $200, the broker may have a $20 minimum trade size. So that's 10% of your account. But that's fine if you're using a very small account. But if you have a larger account, I wouldn't go over 5% per trade. Now what you can do naturally over time is compound your account. So what that means is that if your account is growing and you're using 5% per trade, your actual trade size amount will increase naturally over time because you need to work out the percentage based on your account size. So all you need to do is decide on a percentage to start with, either 1%, 2%, 3%, 4% or 5%, then work out your trade size based on the percentage and your current account balance. And then over time, you will be able to actually compound your account when you reach certain milestones. So let's say you had a $500 account and you turned it into $600. Then you can obviously work out your new trade size based on that percentage. And that's how you naturally grow your account over time. So that's very important to understand. You need to risk what is appropriate to you. Everyone has slightly different risk appetites, okay? Some people are very conservative. They wanna risk only 1% per trade every time. Some people are more high risk. They wanna risk 5% per trade. That's fine. Just don't do anything stupid and risk too much. I recommended between one and 5% for a reason. So if a trade does actually go wrong, you're easily able to recover it with other trades, okay? So I hope that makes sense and everyone understands the basic concepts of risk management and how important it is because this is one of the most common things that new traders do and they actually end up risking far too much based on their account and then when they lose they end up risking even more to try and get it back. We'll talk about that in the trading psychology section which will be in the next video but for now the main points I want you to take away from this video is that you have to be consistent. Consistency with trading is the key to success. So if you're going to start with 1% risk per trade, you have to stick to it. If you're gonna start with 5% risk per trade, you have to stick to it. But if you start chopping and changing your trade sizes as you go along, you have no consistency, and therefore you have some wins, some losses, but if you've risked too much or too little on some of the trades, then you're gonna end up losing money, okay? So be consistent, decide initially what kind of risk you want. So whether that's 1% or 5% or anything in between. And once you've decided, work out how much that is based on your account and then stick to it. So thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.